Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to the live stream over on Twitch. Let's have to gather a Bitcoin price update because Bitcoin is gearing up for the next big move. And of course we want to trade it and that's why I'm going live now on Twitch. So if you're watching it over on YouTube, this is the replay from the Twitch live stream. So if next time you want to join the live stream, make sure to subscribe also to the Twitch channel. You find the link down below here in the video description. And with this video, I gonna announce this new $10 Bitcoin giveaway video. So this is the subscription video. So make sure in the YouTube channel, click on this video, put a comment, everything you want, everything you want, and also very important, your Bitcoin address down below. Because at the end of the week, we're gonna select randomly the winner and you're gonna win this $10 worth of a Bitcoin. We're gonna do this every week, so that's why make sure to join the YouTube channel, very important, and if you have Twitch, also the Twitch channel, of course. you find all the links down below here in the video description. And once again, make sure that you leave the comment and the Bitcoin address in the YouTube video, not here on Twitch or any other platform where I have my video uploaded, make sure that you leave the Bitcoin address in this video on YouTube to participate on the weekly $10 Bitcoin giveaway. So good luck to everyone and thank you already for your subscription and of course also feel welcome to join our YouTube channel and also leave a like on the video as well. So now let's start with the TA. Nothing much has changed since this morning. We are still trading around $9,200. We are still in this consolidation area before a potential big move to the upside because I'm still expecting a potential move to the upside towards $9,400. So here in the one hour, we are currently overbought in the stochastic and also RSI. So I'm still waiting here for a potential little correction to the downside to potentially test again this 9100 to 9150 area and I'm most likely gonna also open up a little long position over there because I'm still pretty confident that we could see here a retest of this 9400 to 9500 dollar and then we're gonna have to see if we are able to break it already or not if we are again gonna get rejected there then we could see another leg down before a potential break through 9400 and 9500 dollar but this is what we're gonna have to see once we're reaching these price levels so currently in the one hour we are still overbought and that's why I'm still not entering a long position even though in the bigger time frames we still have some room left to the upside this is just for the sh very short time frames here like the one hour we are getting overbought so I'm still waiting here for a potential cool off before we are gearing up here to test this 9400 to 9500 dollar resistance because here in the daily you can see that currently we are touching the 20 daily moving average here at 9230 and this is the problem that we, so far we are not able to at least week through this moving average or even better have a daily close above the 20 daily so then in theory the next target would be here this test of this $9,400 which is also the top of this potential falling wedge that we are currently in and this is why we still didn't see and saw a breakout here even though it is bullish that currently we're trading again uh, above $9,150 but the problem is still here that the 20 daily is giving us resistance and also the RSI is still a bit here below the 50 level so in theory we're still trading on the bearish side and this is a very uh, strong resistance here so it is very important that we are starting to break this resistance and create a support above the 20 daily so above 9230 I'm pretty confident that it is possible that we could break it and start to create a support also because the S&P 500 mini futures are still pumping and this breakout from this consolidation wedge here is a pretty bullish and here I'm targeting the top that we had here so a retest of $3,230 and I think if we're going again here to test it 
it is very likely that we could break it only in case that we are not able to break here this high over here at 3230 in the s p 500 this could be a bearish double top formation which could also indicate some uh, trend reversals here uh, also for the long term so maybe in the next couple of days and weeks we could then see a big uh, waterfall here back to those levels that we had here around 2800 to 3000 dollar and something similar we could then also see in the crypto market so i still think that if the s p 500 is going to touch the tops also here on bitcoin we most likely going to uh, test here again this ten thousand dollar area again and then we have to see if we are able to break it or not but currently here uh, on the daily it is still looking bearish only if we're able to break it at 20 daily and start to move towards 9400 which i think will happen pretty soon um, then we have to see if we are again here in a trend reversal and we could see here a potential breakout from this falling wedge and test here this 10k level zone and uh, yeah as i told you i'm still waiting here to open up a long position over here on bityard with some tether because on bityard you can trade all these coins that you see here with uh, tether you don't have to own the coins so that's why if you have some tether on the sideline parked and um, you want to use it to trade and multiply your tether and then with this buy some more bitcoins or altcoins you can do this here because on uh, bityard uh, you don't need any kyc process nothing just register with your email if you need an account you find the link down below here in the video description uh, with my sign up link you can get some bonuses and of course you also support the channel so make sure to use the link that you find down below here in the video description for bityard and uh, here as you can see uh, you get a lot of bonuses only signing up and also while you're trading depending on how much you're trading and what is your trading volume you can claim here up to 260 dollars on bonus the last bonus is 188 tether in cash so this money you can also immediately withdraw it uh, or of course also trade we did so if you trade or if you plan to trade with high leverage and with tether then make sure that you sign up here on bityard because here is the exchange where you can get the most uh, bony and uh, you can also every day tune in and click here on daily mining because every day you can claim here some little pieces of some altcoins which then automatically are getting converted here in tether and you can uh, withdraw it into your wallet or use it for trading because the minimum amount for trading here is uh, five dollars so although with a very small amount you can uh, do uh, big gains and big trades here for example, I'm planning now to open up a long position towards 9,120 because I still think that in the lower time frames here, like in the short time frames, we could see a potential retest of the 20 moving average in one hour, which is also coinciding with the previous resistance here in the short term. And this is now perfectly lining up at around 9,150. And this is where I think the price could retrace back down to see a retest and then bounce again from it, especially because we are currently over uh, bought in the very short time frames. If we go over to the four hour, you can see that currently also here we are getting into overbought. We still have a little bit of room left, but also here it is likely that we could see a possible retest of this new uh, support, which is also coinciding here with the 20 and 50 moving average of the four hour time frame and the 200 moving average is up here at our resistance and also on our target of the next possible move of bitcoin so if you want already now to start longing maybe uh, use uh, low leverage 5x or 10x so you can scale in your long position down to 9150 this is where i think we could see a possible test but not necessarily it is also possible that from here on we go straight up here to retest 9400 dollar and in that case we're gonna have to see if today we can close above the 20 daily moving average or not so in case that today we're gonna close at uh, a daily candle above 9240 then in theory we could be easily heading towards here the next resistance level of 9400 and then even though we could see it maybe tomorrow after a close above the 20 daily a little uh, retrace back down we need the confirmation that now the 20 daily moving average is acting as a support and not anymore as a resistance like here in the last couple of days 
All right, guys, so this was a small uh, TA update for today. Remember, this video is gonna be the subscription video uh, for the $10 Bitcoin giveaway, which is sponsored from Bityard. So thank you very much and shout out to Bityard for this uh, special promotion that they're giving to us every week. $10 Bitcoin giveaway. So make sure to subscribe to it. And uh, this you can do over on the YouTube uh, a replays on the YouTube video. If you watch it now from YouTube, just go down below into the comment section and put there any comment you want and your Bitcoin address. And we're gonna select randomly the winner um, towards the end of the week. We're gonna do then the winner selection video. But important is that on this video, you're gonna put a comment, your Bitcoin address, of course, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel because also we do daily TA videos and uh, yeah you can participate to all the giveaways that we are doing so thank you very much for watching guys and uh, we see us all in the next one bye